and start out, select Blender, open up Blender as I have, and then create a cube. Put the cube wherever you want it to be, and then go into Logic, and then add one of each, and then Extra Actuator. Connect them all, then connect both actuators to the one controller, set it, touch, material, and put as your gun's material, whatever it is, such as in our last tutorial. Mine is gun mat for gun material, and you can find that, or you can name yours by going into your materials, and then the material, you name it. So now whenever this gets touched by something with that material, it'll do what I want. So I want it to send out a property named um, no. No, it's gonna send out a message. A message about ten points. So ten PTS. And when I touch it, it's also going to end the object. So we're going to edit object end object. So when I touch it, I get 10 points and then it disappears or else you can keep going over again and again and get more points. So next, go over to the gun and add property. In that property, money. And then click that little D and add that to in That stands for integer and that D will show a little counter that tells you how much of that property you have. Next step is add one of each to here and then set it for message. So when I receive that must message, 10 points, it is going to increase that property. So that property is going to be my money, you could say. So when I get that message, it's going to add to money value you gotta do plus or you can do minus if it's like a bad object that's gonna do like plus 10 you could say and then now if you go view camera play see up in the top left it says gun money gun, that's the object, and the money is the property, so when I go up and touch the object, oh, I just got 10 points. And then, if you want, you can check out some of my friends. They also have tutorials on how to make little, like, counters. They'll say, plus 10 points and stuff. Because in a real game, you probably don't want that little thing, and I'm not entirely sure, but it also might not show up. So, if you want, you can go check them out. I'm currently working on it myself. When I do get that working, I'll be sure to post that up for you guys. But for now, just deal with that or check out one of their videos. And then, the next tutorial, I'll try and get into like a health bar. And that also has to do with properties. And for now, that's it.